I'm switching gears briefly. On my drive in this morning, I definitely saw the moon out there shining bright. Sending it, sending it over to me, to Officer to Annie Moody's live in studio this morning with more on why the moon may appear a little bit brighter for a change as you head out the door. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Jeremiah. We've all heard the term supermoon when the moon just appears just a little bit bigger, but it's not like the moon's growing in size or anything. It's still staying, staying its relatively same size, but the moon is just a little bit closer to us this time around. This is what we call the harvest moon, or also just known as the hunter's moon as well. Kind of a more of a newer name is the hunter's moon. The harvest moon is more of the kind of the old time name, but typically this is when the moon is just a little bit brighter and as well just a little bit bigger in the sky as it is a little bit on that closer approach. Just disappearing about 14% bigger than what it is from normal typically. So here's a picture I took this morning, not a great picture, but hey, the super moon is out there shining bright out there this morning. Here's another picture sent in from David Garcia. So the main reason it is the super moon is what we call it. It's when the moon is at its closest point to the earth during its orbit. This is kind of the scientific term of what we call the perigee. It appears that 30% brighter, 14% larger than when it is at its furthest point, which is also known as the apogee. So this is also known as the harvest moon because it is typically during the time where they have that extra moonlight and when the farmers were able to harvest their crops a little bit more into the later portions of the night. So of course the best way to be able to view it, stay out of those city lights and make sure to get into some open land so you can see the moon at its biggest point.